In Windows Server 2019, we can force a background onto Windows 10 computers that are joined to the domain. So if you have an organization where you'd like everyone's background to be the same, just sort of to show a unified uh, type of PC setup, then you can go into group policy and set this up. Now it has to be on Windows 10 joined computers. It also works on Windows 7 or 8 joined computers as well. And so we're opening up group policy manager and we're going to create a new group policy object and link it here. Now we can certainly edit the default domain policy if we want everybody's computers to do this, but if you only want specific ones, or if you want to just have a specific policy that just applies this type of thing, then you can do that as well. So we're going to right click and choose edit on the force background group policy. But first let's take a look at how we can create a folder that's going to be shared. So the shared folder has to be available to every user, otherwise they won't be able to see this new background. Now if you're using one of the default Windows backgrounds, that's a different situation because you can just pick one from the Windows folder. But if you have a company logo that you want to set up, now what I did was I created the awesome company. So uh, that way we can save that into our shared folder and then we can go ahead and push that out to everyone. So we've saved the picture that I just created into the background shared folder. So that way we can make sure everybody can access it. Now you have to have at least read writes in order to allow people to do that. So you have to have sharing as well as security. So let's see how that gets set up. So first under sharing, I like to go to advanced sharing just because it makes it go a little bit quicker. Click on permissions and give everyone full access or give domain users full access, which is a little better because that way only people in the domain will get it. So if you have any non-domain computers, then you won't have those people have access to the files. So once we put in full access to the domain users, we click OK, and then we go into the security tab. Now the security tab, we're just going to make sure that domain users only have the read type of access. And what that does is it keeps them from making any changes to it. So we're going to leave the domain users in there with that read access. Now when you combine read and full, you're going to be given the most restrictive between the two, between sharing and security. So even though we've given full on the sharing side, it doesn't matter. So now we're going to go back in and edit our settings. So now we're going to go into the client and make sure that we can get access to this picture. So we use the UNC path to our domain controller and we can double click on the file and as you see here it opens up. So we know the user has access to it so we're just fine. So now let's go back and edit our group policy object to make sure it's pointing in the right place. Then we'll attempt to log off and log back in and get this new background. So there's the edit and there are hundreds and hundreds of different settings we can make so you got to know exactly where you're uh, going to get into the setting. So let's go into the user configuration. You can do this by computer, but we're going to do it by user. And that means that wherever the user logs in, they're going to get this background. If we do by computer, then anybody who logs into that computer will get the background. So in this case, it's pretty much the same, but it's not always that way. There are some settings that only make sense to, for the user and some settings that only make sense for the computer. Now we're going into the setting. And you can see we go to user, policies, administrative templates, then desktop, and then the desktop folder inside that. And then here's where we can force that wallpaper. And you can also interchangeably say it's the background, but in group policy object land, it is the wallpaper. So we're putting the UNC path to the picture. Don't put in C colon backslash because the user doesn't have access to the server's C colon drive. It only has access to the shared folders on the C colon drive. It's just a little bit different way of getting access to it in a way that the user can open it up. Now let's just test our path to make sure we didn't make any errors. We copy and paste it in and it opens right up. So we know that the path is good. And now we'll apply it and we'll be ready to test it out. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer and give this a test. We're in Windows 10. Now sometimes you can just type in uh, GP update and it goes right away. But in other cases, you need to log off and log back on. So let's see what this setting does. 
So we'll type in GP update space forward slash force and hit enter. And then it's going to tell us either it was successful and we'll actually see the new background, or it's going to say you need to log off before you get to see that. Now, if it's a computer policy, you'll actually have to reboot. So we see in this case, we do have to log off. So we can just press Y and then logs out. And now it's actually called sign in and sign out. But that's OK. Windows 10 changed it a little bit. So we're logging in as Sally. And look at that. We got our default background to show up. So any user who is in the domain is going to end up getting that uh, logo that we just created. Now, if you want to try to change it, you can't because you can see here it's hidden and only can be affected through group policy. So that's how we force a background change, also known as wallpaper, in Windows 10 using Windows Server 2019.